Tim, could you please stop yawning? It's driving me crazy. I was up all night writing a lead role for you. <laughs> right, without mad Mrs. McBean. Is that me? I'm lucky if I get the role of sorority girl number two. Maybe you haven't noticed, but this school happens to be knee deep in naturals for the bitch roles. What's up with this? What? Look. This is Henry's locker. Whoever did this is so evil. Like, so we should take it down and do something. Too late. Henry, are, um, are you okay? I'm fine. Whoever did this deserves to have their butt kicked. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Are you kidding me? Brittany's such a bitch. Brittany wouldn't do something like this. Are you kidding me? You're still standing up for her? It wasn't her. Every jock in this school hates me. What's going on? Somebody put this stuff on Henry's locker. <laughs> like you care? Like we're friends? Just leave me alone. Sure. Henry may be book smart, but he's totally life dumb. Yeah. How could he be so hung up on someone who treats him like garbage? Happens all the time. You disagree? Excuse me, I have to make a phone call. If that was you being Romeo, you suck at it. Hey, Henry. Where's Brittany? I thought you guys traveled in pairs. Like nuns. Um, she's around. She told me to come talk to you. Brittany, why did you shut the door? This room's gonna be empty all day. Mrs. McBain is sick and they haven't found a substitute yet, so that'll give us time to have ourselves a nice little chat. All right, so tell me, what am I doing that's so wrong? You act like Star wants things the way they are. Well, yesterday we were talking. Today she won't even look at me. Maybe she's just trying to get over you because she knows there's no hope. I just miss her so much. And I can't get to her. I mean, you're her best friend, right? Don't you want her to be happy? You know I do. And is she? No. Okay, then you have to help me. That whole mess with audition? That was me helping. And look what happened. Star got mad and fixed it, so I have to write the whole damn show. If you think she's doing this because she's over you, she's not. Yeah? Yeah. And somewhere in there, you know that, bonehead. <sighs> okay. So then, what should I do? Well, she's stubborn. Maybe you should just try laying off. Why does her dad have to be Todd Manning? <laughs> well, how worse can it get? Huh. Well, you could be hung up on Brittany. Brittany wanted you to talk to me? Okay. About what? I think that's kind of obvious. You mean she's furious about this too? Oh no, she totally doesn't care about that. Oh. She wanted me to ask you for something? What? She gave you her last school picture when you were writing her history paper for her. Right. Yeah, she really needs that back. She wants to give it to Garrett. Oh. Sure. I don't want to talk to you, okay? I have to make a phone call. Do it later. I have nothing to talk to you about. Me and Cole are done, and you're with that kid, Garrett. No, we're hooking up. It's not a big deal. Okay, ew, please, spare me the details of your sex life. That's what friends do, Star. They share all their dirty little secrets. I'm sorry, ew, don't touch me, and did you just call us friends? <laughs> That's what I'm here about. How about a truce? I saw you talking to Amber. So? Are you giving you trouble by proxy now? I really wish you'd stop pretending to care. Look, Star and I, we've been through this. You never lifted a finger to help me before. I didn't know. Look, I just want to be invisible. 
I don't think that's going to be so easy anymore. Don't take her crap. Do something that lets her know that she didn't get to you. Maybe you're right. I know I am. So say we can be friends. No, thank you. I've seen how you treat your friends. You're talking about Henry. Henry is at the top of a very long list, Brittany. Okay, I know you think I'm a bitch, but have you taken a good look at yourself recently? I am nothing like you. How is what I did to Henry any different from what you're doing to Cole? I let Henry think I was his friend so he'd write my paper. It's like economics, the exchange of goods for our services. Ooh, wow, that's a heavy concept. Did Henry teach you that? You're doing the same thing. I am not. You let Cole think you'd put out so you could go from being the weird girl nobody knew to everyone's favorite little emo queen. No, everything that I've ever told Cole has been the truth. I never let him off. Hello? You're still doing it. Everyone knows you dumped Cole at Heather's party, and that's way harsh, Star. Right, Cole? Star, wait! I need to talk to you just for a second, all right? Cole, it is not a good idea for me to talk to you, okay? Brittany's clearly messing with your mind. And, and must be about me. What she said was a bunch of bull crap. Yeah, I'm sure it was. So tell me, what she say that got you so upset? Hi, guys. Oh, my God, you guys. Word is that Mrs. McBain is throwing a pop quiz at us tomorrow about Hamlet. Uh, this close to finals? Are you kidding? I know. Apparently, it's counting for half our final grade. A test tomorrow. I'm not even ready for that. Star, I need to talk to you. Okay, this is a disaster. If I don't get a decent grade in that class, I'm going to be kicked out of cheerleading. I mean, I need to do something drastic. What are you going to do? Study for once? Oh, don't be stupid. Is it the whole play or just the first two acts? Everything. Short answer and the Oh, you study for multiple choice? I just had a flash of brilliance. Are we going for a joyride, Henry? No, 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 no. You can't sit there. My instructor's going to be here any minute. I have to take my behind-the-wheel class. Look, I have time to learn how to drive. I should be studying. Yeah, you know, speaking of studying, there's something I need to talk to you about. Um, we have a test in English tomorrow. Forget it. After the way you treated me, I'm not doing anything for you anymore. Uh, okay, look, I can understand why you... No, no, you don't understand. You don't understand anything. This is enough. Brittany, get out of the car now. Brittany, get out of the car. I mean it. Henry is not the answer to all your problems, Brittany. Why are you talking about me like I'm not even here? Because we're just trying to help you, Henry. Okay, Cole, start. No, we're no, not. No, shut up. Just shut up, all of you. I can't take this anymore. I gotta get out of here. You're right, Henry. We should go someplace where we can be alone and talk. Like hell you will. I'm not letting oh, you go. Oh, wait, wait. Look, I don't care what you guys do. I just gotta get the hell out of here. What? Yeah. 